We can run reports from segments. We can do that in a number of different ways. If we go over to the report, we can choose to do a report based on the catchment that we've already got. Or we could create a new drive time catchment or a radius catchment by dragging a circle out and then asking for a report based on the size of that catchment or that radius. Now that we've created a catchment, we understand some of the demographics behind that catchment at district level, we might want to run a report off that gives us precise details about the kinds of people that live in this area, their age, their incomes, their lifestyle habits, their favorite websites, all of that kind of information is available to us because it's built into segments. And what we can do is go up and select the criteria that we like. So we might be interested in their accommodation type, their age, their amenities, right the way down to the charities they support, number of children they might have, their grocery shopping habits, professional habits, health and hobbies and interests. All of this is available. We can choose to select any particular criteria that we like. We can go into Mosaic and we can say, well, we would like to know about the different types of people and their buying habits based on the Mosaic profiling. Or we can deselect them all and just select a particular two or three. We might want to know their hobbies, their primary grocery shopping habits, their age, their local amenities. And we might want to know about all of their buying habits. We go into a catchment. We want to do a catchment report based on this particular area that we've created a catchment for. We click in that and immediately we get our drive time, our 10 minute drive time around this particular outlet. And what we see is it's giving us a breakdown of all the households, the kinds of accommodation, all of the things that we had selected previously. And it begins to index them, whether they're the low indexed in that area or whether they're over indexed and it might be an area that we wouldn't to look at because we've got more of this particular people group in this area than we do in some of the others and we can go right down through the whole report breaking down ages breaks down all of the information that we've selected there's 20 pages in this particular report because we included everything we could narrow it right down to some of the information that we know is relevant to us but as we click through it we'll get all of that employment information their food, their co-op, their, their buying habits, whether it's Aldi, whether it's co-op, Iceland, Lidl, Marks and Spencers, distances, hobbies, activities, hours spent at work, all the way through, pets, age, then we start to see some of the mosaic report coming through here, so we can start to see who are the key people living in this area, what are they over profiling in, they tend to be on this particular report, ex-council community, it tends to be elderly needs. And we can go down right the way through the whole report, understanding some of all of the criteria and the demographics of the people living in that area. Each of these reports can be exported either as a PDF or they can be exported directly into Microsoft Excel where you can do further analysis on each of those criteria. If we want to understand more about where this particular shop is in relation to the whole of the UK, we could drop map point, which will give us a map of the UK. We can see that this is a Durham store. If that's a little bit too cluttered, we can take it back off again. If we want to understand the data behind this, we can come down to the data that we've import and we can look at the table behind that. And that's all of the data that might be sales data. That could be store data. And we can begin to filter any of this criteria based on what we want to look at. If we wanted to just look at the, the larger stores, we could filter this, or the smaller stores. And we can export this back out to Access, or to Excel, or as a CSV file for further analysis.